So you've hit tier four. You're trying to figure out what to grab next. Uh, Nishi Cybernetics. You're like, oh, that sounds cool. Let me dissuade you from choosing it first. One, it's kind of expensive at first. Uh, once you get a little deeper in the game, its cost goes down significantly in terms of your available resources. And honestly, the augments themselves, though all interesting, don't provide a truly necessary function. They're all little enhancements. The metabolism modulator yeah, basically allows you to eat and drink less. So if you're like me and tend to forget to eat and drink regularly, it, it helps quite a bit. That one's worth having on hand most of the time. The artificial stomach, sadly, doesn't really offer a whole lot other than the ability to eat things you probably shouldn't be eating. The artificial retina is awesome. It's night vision without the green filter, but again, not really necessary if you're okay with the green filter. The endoskeleton keeps you from having broken limbs and being dazed, could be useful, but I haven't encountered too many situations where that'd be make or break. The artificial liver basically removes the uh, medical debuff when you're taking uh, any of your healing items. The healing gland allows you to have significantly increased automatic regen, though even with it being a fairly large increase to your base regen, it's still kind of slow. It, you're not going to be healing wounds very rapidly. But if you are in super heavy armor or any of the really high-end armors, you'll be healing that chip damage you take from fighting random things that may or may not hit you. The ATP energy extractor allows you to convert some of your uh, food bar to power to recharge your power banks. It is very slow, so I'd only suggest this one if you're using very few powered tools. So if you're just using like the scanner and you're not using any energy weapons, this could be helpful, but that's up to you. And if you do use the ATP energy extractor, I highly suggest the metabolism modulator because you'll be eating up your food faster to make the electricity. Lastly, there's the nanofiber skin. This increases your defenses. It's not so significant that you should go out of your way to grab it first. As you can see, it's a bare minimum here, but it is noticeable. It is better than nothing. And when you put on the super heavy armor, it caps out everything except radiation protection and psi protection. So, relatively useful there. Uh, you can apply all of the implants over here at the medical station, and you can also remove them. To install them, it takes 25 biomaterial. To remove them, it only takes 10. Uh, producing each of them will require some amount of biomaterial, which you can use the biomaterial collector while harvesting animals that you've killed and that will fill up empty biomaterial vials. That said, you've got a pretty healthy situation where those biomaterial vials will eat through your pragnium because it does require some of those. It also requires pharmaceutical chemicals as well as industrial chemicals in many cases to produce the augments. They do last quite a long time. It, and the skill for them does increase their longevity. 